Today joining us is Anne from the Red Cross. Premier Medical Staffing will be hosting a blood drive on October 10th from 9.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. here in the Lincoln Center buildings. If you're interested in attending, please see the information below. Uh, but before we do that, I wanted to talk to Anne a little bit more about sure. blood drives and learn what it's like. So thanks for coming in, Anne. Sure, thanks for having me and thanks for hosting your own blood drive. <laughs> We're very excited. Good. So first off, why should people donate blood? Well, I would say it's really just because it's the right thing to do for your community. Um, you know, the blood is needed every single day. Every mm -hmm. two to three seconds, somebody needs blood. Mm -hmm. And uh, across the country, we need about 36,000 units of blood every single wow. day. Mm -hmm. And it's not something that we can manufacture. Mm -hmm. The only way we can get blood for emergencies and for the needs is through human donation. <laughs> it's through generous donator, donators that will go out and give blood where there's a blood drive. So it, it's really just the right thing to do to save a life. Actually, each unit of blood saves up to three lives. Oh, wow. So yeah. it's, you know, if, you, if you've never had to have blood, you know, whether a transfusion or mm -hmm. something for a medical need, chances are you know somebody who's Absolutely. needed it. Mm -hmm. And there's even a higher chance that sometime in your future, Mm -hmm. you might need blood mm -hmm. and wouldn't it be great if somebody out in the community <laughs> was generous to give blood for your need absolutely uh, who does the blood go to well for the Red Cross we have hospital relationships right mm -hmm. here in Wisconsin Excellent. and we take care of our hospitals that mm -hmm. need blood but the Red Cross is also a national nonprofit, humanitarian mm -hmm. services, mm -hmm. where we take care of the blood needs wherever they are. Mm -hmm. So if there is, for instance, you know, the disasters with the hurricanes, yeah. many of those hospitals and blood drives were canceled because sure. people couldn't get there to give blood. Absolutely. But the need's still there. Yeah. So the Red Cross will collect blood throughout the country and wherever there's a need, mm -hmm. we will send it. We can't, we can't promise where the mm -hmm. blood is going. Actually, no blood collection organization sure. can. They can't promise that, but we know that there's a need, yeah. and we know that they're, they're going to be asking for blood. Mm -hmm. So donors right now can mm -hmm. pretty much assume that their blood is going to go to someplace like Texas, like um, Florida, where yeah. there is really a big need right now. Absolutely. Does it hurt? <laughs> we we get that question a lot. We <laughs> really do. We get um, if it hurts. And I've been a donor for a really mm -hmm. long time. I can speak from experience. I do not think it hurts. <laughs> okay. You you can you know what's happening. You sure. can feel it. Mm -hmm. But you know when you think about you're saving up to three mm -hmm. lives. You wow. know it's really you got to think beyond that mind mm -hmm. over matter. That <laughs> you know for the. Eight minutes that mm -hmm. it takes to actually donate blood. Sure. I would just suggest to somebody to just, you know, think about the lives you're saving Absolutely. and, you know, where there's the need. I would also suggest that if you are feeling apprehensive about it, some people just get creeped out on needles mm -hmm. and, you know, don't even like the thought of that. Yeah. Tell the phlebotomist who's going to be drawing your blood that you're oh. feeling a little apprehensive and they'll help you through it. They'll, oh, that's great. they'll give you advice, they'll, they'll mm -hmm. tell you what to do. Um, but to your question, it doesn't hurt. No. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I want to let all of you know I know I have some friends, and particularly Amanda, uh, who were nervous about it. And I checked with Anne, and there are no reported cases of people dying no. from donating blood to help <laughs> others. So. You're all clear on that. <laughs> uh, what if I can't donate blood? Are there other ways to help? Absolutely. So you know from mm -hmm. setting up this blood drive that yes. it takes some work to it put really this does. together. <laughs> so I would imagine you would like to have some help. Absolutely. Maybe start a committee mm -hmm. where you know somebody could volunteer that day to mm -hmm. sit at the registration desk and register people as mm -hmm. they're coming in or to go out and maybe in the community find some donations of extra food that yeah. would make the blood drive a little bit more appealing. We bring in the canteen items, mm -hmm. but it's fun when there's extra stuff. 
for we love extra stuff extra stuff food <laughs> motivates for sure so absolutely you know maybe bake some treats that day yeah. or, or whatever there's also you know blood drives actually support all of our lines of service mm -hmm. with the red cross so you know it does support disaster relief mm -hmm. it supports um service to the military yeah the different lines of service so you know there there's always the financial donations mm -hmm. as well Absolutely. that you know if you can't give blood you know make a financial mm -hmm. donation you can go to our website at redcross.org mm -hmm. to make a donation but i also also would recommend or suggest that if you can't give blood and there's there's a variety of reasons legitimate reasons mm -hmm. why people cannot give blood is to go out and recruit more donors. Re set a goal of recruiting three additional donors because when you give, it saves up to three lives. Yeah. So go out and find three people that will take care of your donation. Yeah. And you know, you think about the domino effect. Each yeah. of those will save up to three lives. Sure. So that That'd help make quite an impact. It it really does, and the help with recruiting donors mm -hmm. is probably the biggest thing. Sure. That yeah could help. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, so who is eligible to donate blood? Sure. Um, actually, as young as 16 years of age, really? an individual can give blood with parent permission. That's There's, good there is a parent permission slip that we have. <laughs> um, sure. But after that, as long as you're 110 pounds or more mm -hmm. and feeling relatively healthy that day, yeah. if you feel like you're going about your business, day-to-day mm -hmm. -day business, and you're feeling good, you you can give blood. Um, you know we we watch out for the safety of both mm -hmm. the donors and the recipients. Sure. So if you're not feeling well that day, mm -hmm. we don't want you to give blood. Go. You know, there's lots of blood drives out in the mm -hmm. community to just type in your zip code and find a, one in the community. And it's the best though. The, the best. The best. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to meet your goal of yes. collecting you know your, your blood, but. Um, <laughs> You know, if, if, if you're not feeling that healthy mm -hmm. that day, it's okay. Yeah. Just pass on it. Mm -hmm. But if you're going about your business as, mm -hmm. as normal, mm -hmm. you can give blood. You know, during the, the process, mm -hmm. you kind of go through a mini physical. Sure. You know, in a private setting, you'll mm -hmm. take your blood pressure, take your temperature, mm -hmm. and make sure that we know you're feeling well yeah. that day, too. Mm -hmm. So we're looking out for everybody's mm -hmm. best interest. We, we just want everyone feeling good yeah. and having a good experience. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, I just have one more question for sure. you. What would you say is the biggest misconception about blood drives or donating blood? Sure. I would say that as far as blood drives, mm -hmm. that the Red Cross only collects blood for the country. Oh, outside sure. of Wisconsin, mm -hmm. but it, it, we collect locally uh -huh. from here. We take care of our hospital relationships mm -hmm. that we have within Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and then we re, you know, respond to the need mm -hmm. outside of the state. Yeah. So that's a misconception. Mm -hmm. And also, I think individually with donating blood, mm -hmm. there's a misconception of how quickly it'll get to recipients. Oh, sure. Many people will think, oh, I'm gonna give blood today, and then it'll go to the hospital tomorrow, mm -hmm. or it'll go right to the hospital. Yeah. There is a testing process that's involved. Okay. So there's a you know a few days that it has to go to the lab, mm -hmm. it'll come back, that blood is kept on ice, you know, mm -hmm. to make sure it'll be okay. But it, there is some testing mm -hmm. involved. So when there is a disaster, mm -hmm. and there is a call for blood, yeah. It, it, it takes a few days to get to wherever that disaster mm -hmm. is. So for the Red Cross, it's the blood that we have on the shelves mm -hmm. right now that will go to a disaster tomorrow. Yeah. So really, I look at the real heroes being those who will donate throughout the year, mm -hmm. even when there isn't you know, media going on about mm -hmm. a disaster happening somewhere. It's those individuals who know that their blood is needed yeah. every single day. Absolutely. And we have it ready to go and can respond mm -hmm. to disasters. That's mm -hmm. what we need. And that's what people don't understand sure. that we're looking for this every single day yeah. and respond to every single disaster. You know, one accident 
Mm -hmm. One car accident with one victim can sometimes take up to 100 units of blood for that wow. one person. Holy so, cow. you know, you can see the volume yeah. that's needed. And so giving blood on a regular basis mm -hmm. throughout the year when you're not hearing on the news, mm -hmm. you know, that there, there's the need, that's, that's critical. And that's Absolutely. where we really appreciate mm -hmm. all the donors that come out throughout mm -hmm. the year. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that is awesome information. Good. And thank you so much for coming in, Anne. We're really excited. Again, that's Premier Partnering with the Red Cross on Tuesday, October 10th from 9.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. You can check out our website for more information um, and sign up online, or you can give us a call and, and sign up. We'll have the information on where to call in the post. Uh, thanks again. Sure. Absolutely. Thank you. See you on the job.